Ladies and gents, welcome back. Sorry to start you off on a dark path this Friday morning, but I had to address this. Medical assistance in dying is becoming a prevalent thing here in Canada, and it's it's disgusting. And and uh, well, we're seeing commercial use of its imagery now. We have a Canadian fashion retailer releases repulsive ad promoting assisted suicide. Now, it doesn't end there. There's some actual. <laughs> There's some actual symbology, some symbolism used in this video that uh, is is really disgusting. And we're going to get into that in just a moment. Now, to fill you in, if you haven't uh, seen what this is, this was a video that was released by, um, well, promoted by Simmons, Simons, Simmons, Canada, a retailer, uh, trying to sell clothing and whatnot, uh, using the promoting uh, assisted suicide assisted uh, uh, medical assistance in dying they call it made to make it sound fantastic it's there's nothing fantastic about that but we look and well hey the video's gone the video's gone from the website they 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 deleted it it seems that it wasn't actually good for their brand as they thought there's there's obviously our archive links here so YouTube they had it up all is beauty la maison Siemens um, and, and yeah, anyway, you can go, I'll leave a link for the archive in the description down below where you can actually go read the comments that people had to say about this video in particular. Now, I'll show you, of course, on the internet, nothing, once something is up on the internet, it's there forever. Now, this is the, the ad, and I'll play, I'll play a little blurb from it. I'm not playing the whole ad. Um, again, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go watch it for yourself. But it starts off with this message. Dying in a hospital is not what's natural. That's not what's soft. In these kind of moments, you need softness. It then goes on to show a bunch of, uh, well, it goes on to the story of this woman who's seeking medical assistance in dying and she's doing this giant celebration. But what's really interesting is a bit of the symbology that, that's shown here. And I, I mean, I wouldn't have noticed, I wouldn't have known what this was if somebody hadn't pointed it, this out. But there's this giant blue whale that's prevalent through the whole video. And well, what does this have to do with anything? Well, <laughs> I, Igor's newsletter, thank, thankfully for him, uh, Igor Chud, Chudov uh, published this, uh, this article here explaining exactly what this blue whale is. Creepy blue whale suicide symbol is openly glorified in Canada. I had no idea what this was. Again, the Substack article, I'll leave in the, a link in the description down below. Check it out in its entirety. The image below is a part of a professionally made creepy video, and here's the archive link, promoting a glorified assisted suicide. The video also intended to promote Simon's brand clothing to make it, make it extra money. Uh, this is just insane. Pushing kids into suicide. Now, what is this blue whale thing that they're talking about? Suicides in young people are not always a result of deeply thought out and independently made personal choices. Some children were pushed in, groomed into killing themselves by others. For years, anonymous internet weirdos, and weirdos is, is a very light word for these people, could, would connect to vulnerable children, pretend to be attractive boys or girls looking for a friend, and after gaining confidence, would groom and later push these children into killing themselves. Those weirdos called themselves blue whales and used blue whale symbolism, as the 2019 Sun article explains. So this is from the Toronto, or, or just the Sun. Chilling challenge, what is the blue whale suicide game and how many deaths are linked to the challenge? Blue whales have secret forums to exchange tips, techniques, etc. They would share ongoing conversations that they were having with the vulnerable teens for the best suggestions on how to proceed to push them into killing themselves. This is a real thing. This is a disgusting practice that some people on the internet have been engaging with, and this is this is what we need to protect people from. But instead, we have we're ma making it mainstream. This is this is a normal thing here. Um, it, it goes on to say what the the article in the Sun was about. The Sun above the Sun article above may have some of the details wrong, 
but it got the gist right. The targets of blue whales were lonely, suggestible young people desperate for com company and validation. They would clutch their friendly hand extended to them by the blue whales as a drowning person would proverbially clutch at straws looking for anyone to have a connection with. Disgusting. Blue whales would use fake avatars and would pr pretend to be good-looking people of appropriate age to gain trust and romantic interest of their mystery interlocutors. Once the trusted and, de and dependencies were gained, suicide talk would begin. The objective of the blue whales game was to kill as many victims as possible by taking them to suicide. This is uh, an insane form of serial killing that that leaves them with not not actually committing the crime, but pushing others into the thing. Deaths were celebrated, scores were kept, and winners were announced. This BBC article from 2019 offers more details. This is a famous USA case of similar activity of a blue whale girlfriend who intentionally pushed her boyfriend to commit suicide. Michelle Carter was bored and befriending a boy and making him kill himself was her way of having fun. Michelle Carter was found guilty of encouraging boyfriend suicide with text messages, and I hope she serves a long, long, long sentence. Blue whalers, or blue whales, are now mainstream, and this is where it comes into this. This uh, is it. Simon Simmons ad. The blue whale game is as nasty as it is. Would uh, probably go uh, be a footnote in history for most of us if not for what happened later. Now, suicide is good for us, is a glorified, promoted, and is also a great way for governments to save money. This is how disgusting this gets. They would otherwise be spent on unworthy people. Blue whales are a prominent symbol in, sim in a <laughs> subliminal symbolic backdrop for videos promoting assisted suicide. Canada is busy expanding its assisted dying program to include minors who doctors would will be able to kill via medically assisted suicide without parental consent if the proposed law passes. All aspects of the current made law and how it is being implemented in the state of palliative care in Canada will be subject to the review. The following additional Issues will also likely be considered advanced requests for made mental illness as a sole underlying medical condition and mature minors. We talked about this before on the channel. Uh, perhaps I'll put a link in the description down below for that. YouTube had a policy forbidding the promotion of suicide, suicide and self-harm. Uh, yeah, we do not allow content on YouTube that promotes suicide, self-harm and all of this stuff. Maybe that's why the video's gone. Not sure. Not sure yet. Yes, money is involved. Canada expects significant savings from its ever-expanding medical suicide program. Canada's CBC is gloating over savings coming from medically killing useless and high-maintenance Canadians, detailed by CBC's Kelly Malone. Medical assistance Assisted deaths could save millions in healthcare spending report by, well, Kelly Malone here. Is she wearing a pointy witch hat? That, uh, it, sound, it looks fitting. It looks fitting. She looks like the wicked witch of the North. As they say, money, money talks, savings from suicide makes sense only for useless eaters and economically productive individual who is expected to pay large amounts of future taxes is always worth saving. Therefore, the talk about saving money via medical suicide always applies to the useless people no longer expected to bring economic benefit. Suicide may make sense for some people. If I ever find myself with incurable cancer and extreme pain, this is something I would reluctantly consider. However, money considerations present perverse incentives and glorifying suicide is always unethical. And I, I'd beg to differ. I think a lot of people say this now, but then when, they, when they're given the situation, we'll see how many people change their minds. Is suicide a free choice for vulnerable teenagers? Well, oh God. 
Uh, I'm not even getting into this. You can read this article for yourself. It, it is, it's a great article. I really recommend uh, people uh, go over, leave a comment in the comment section uh, on this on this article itself. Go over there and read it. Blue Well is a symbol of creepy internet suicide freaks. Now it's going mainstream. Suicide is openly glorified. So I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this whole situation. Um, it's it's all unethical, I, and, and it's all coming out of the blue, out of the whales. It's um, it's it's very quickly uh, becoming a thing in our country. We've seen many cases. I've reported on other cases where uh, vets vets were enc encouraged by Veterans Affairs Canada to consider it an option uh, for post traumatic stress disorder. Uh, and this uh, you can't make this up. It's it's really disheartening to see that this is happening in our country. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. I'll be live this evening at 6.30 Pacific time. That's 9.30 Eastern. Um, please join me in the live stream. We'll be talking about this probably and some other issues. If you wanted to hear me talk about the Kanye issue, I'll be in the live stream. I'm not making a video on it. Anyway, we'll see you then. Keep on tracking.